Today in this video, let's learn about capacity of a cell, where we will cover its definition, its units and few examples. So let's get started. A capacity of a cell determines how much energy is available in the cell. To make it simpler, it is a measure of stored energy and is measured in amperes or sometimes in milliamp hours, where 1 ampere is equal to 1000 milliamp hours. Batteries can be from few milliamp hours to well over 100 amperes. Let me show you an example. As you can see in this battery, it says 1000 mAh, which means it is 1 ampere. Occasionally, you may even find watts listed on a cell instead of amperes. Well, that's okay, because watts is another unit of energy. Now, let's find out amperes. To find amperes, we would need nominal voltage of a battery. By dividing the water with nominal voltage, we get amperes. Let's simplify it with an example. A lithium ion cell with a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts and capacity rating in watt hour of 11.1 watt hour. By simply dividing 11.1 watt hour by 3.7 volts, we get 3 ampere or 3000 milliampere. Okay, so the formula is ampere of a cell is equals to capacity in watt hour divided by nominal voltage. Remember, capacity rating only tells us how much energy the cell can store and provide. One last note about capacity. You shouldn't expect your cell to achieve their entire rated capacity. As manufacturers usually test the capacity of a cells using two tricks to eke out as much capacity as possible. They treat at an incredible low discharge rate usually about 0.2 C. We will talk about C rate in our upcoming videos. Manufacturers also discharge the cell all the way down to their absolute minimum rated voltage, often 2.5 volts for most lithium ion cells. Discharging that low is possible, but it will decrease the lifetime of a cell if it is done too often. Most of the commercial products using lithium ion cells discharge down to around 3 volts, if not higher, in order to get a longer life out of the cells. So just because your cell might say it's rated for 2 amperes, don't be surprised to see it perform closer to 1.9 ampere when you test it. If you find this video helpful, do hit the like button. To learn more about EVs, go subscribe to the channel where I'll be posting videos consistently. Check out the website given in the description where you can upload blogs, resolve your queries and also can watch other videos with a clear and detailed explanation. There is a community page completely dedicated for EV enthusiasts around the globe. In the upcoming video, we shall learn about C-Rate. Thank you for watching. Happy learning.